We're going to do the district winner for the student sports announcer. This award is uh, very special to me, very uh, good award to receive. So the winner for the district uh, student sports announcer is Bradford Connors from Shawnee High School. Welcome to Shawnee High School, as tonight LDTV Sports will bring you an intra-divisional football matchup between the Cherry Hill East Cougars and the number four Shawnee Renegades. I'm Bradford Connors alongside Scott Glossner. And Scott, with Cherry Hill East sitting at 1-3 and, and Shawnee at 3-1, and one, on paper, Shawnee seems to be the definite favorite. Well, we back to pass, has time, going deep, and he has Mike Bono wide open. And on the first play of the game, the Shawnee offense, it's a touchdown, and they lead 6-0. And Shea, a shot, and, that's a shot and he goal. scores! Oh. With less wow. than 10 seconds to play, Jesse Shea ties the score, and we will head to overtime. Three Asking ball. for the lead. It's good. It. What a shot from the freshman. She has eight in the game. Her 10th three of the season, and Shawnee leads by one. And folks, we have ourselves a barn burner. Save here, we'll send it to the sixth round, and a win will propel Cherokee to the state semifinals. The shot for the win, and he scores, and Cherokee advances to the semifinals. They are sectional champions. It's time now to take a look at the All-State Good Hands play of the game. There you see the save by Ryan Bonner. He gets it to Joe Bonner at the outlet pass to Chisano, and an easy layup for Matt. That will do it for our broadcast today. For Lauren Mathis and for Bob Schwartz, I'm Bradford Connors. Thanks for watching. This is the first LDTV Award win for Bradford Connors. I'd like to express my gratitude to John Donaldson for giving me the opportunity to serve as Shawnee's announcer and for all of his support during my tenure. I'd also like to thank Lisa Brauner for acquiring statistics and digging up countless articles for each game that allow me to be as prepared as possible. And finally, I'd like to thank Mark Sonsini, Becky Potter, and DJ Dini, along with all of the crew who work diligently each game in the truck and on the cameras so you make each production possible and make them run so smoothly. And ever since I was young, my dream has been to be a sports broadcaster. Not only has this been a really fun experience for me, but it's given me great experience, which I think will really help me out as I pursue a major in broadcast journalism at Penn State University. So thanks again.